This is Community Radio Scotland. This is Community Radio Scotland. Welcome to Community Radio Scotland with Tasco McLean. Today I would like to speak to you all about politics in the 17th and 18th century. The politics of the 17th and 18th centuries include all inhabitants of Britain called England, England and Wales and Scotland. The signing of the Union abolished the Scot- Scottish Parliament, giving the proportion of seats, which 45 for the Commons and 16. The Scotland legal system had to be changed radically to safeguard against English common law. George I formed a Whig ministry in 1714 and rewarded his own faction. He initiated a period of demands for 17 17- for 70 years. The Tories lack e- e- effective influence and, and didn't recover in the British politics until the party re- regrouped in 1784 under the name William Pitt. Walpole, who was the Prime Minister, had expected his men to be loyal and regular attend the House of Commons with aims to preserve the House of Hanover. So what a lot of history behind the politics then and what it is today. This is Tasco McLean on Community Radio Scotland. At some point, bye for now. This is Community Radio Scotland. This is Community Radio Scotland.